Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We knocked out 2023 Panini Mosaic Football. No Huddle Edition 5 box pick a team number 4. The final 5 boxes of the case that we popped opened up. Popped opened up? Popped open? Popped oh, popped up? Open? At some point. So big thanks everybody for hanging with me on a Chew Tuesday. Here's the list for pick a team 4. Justin Weber, last spot Mojo Bills. 70% of the time, 100% of the time. Um, if you have Mosaic 62 next to your name like Matt, that means you won that team in the filler. It was just a three-team filler. Panthers, Texans, and Colts. And thanks, everyone else, um, for getting in on the break. Appreciate everybody buying their spots straight up. And good luck. Rex, do you think the Dodgers make significant moves in the offseason? I know they need some starters. They don't, really. I mean, they're going to have Dustin May back healthy, Walker Bueller back healthy. They'll have Bobby Miller. And then other guys like Pepio and Sheehan. So I think the starters are not actually the issue. Maybe they need to find a Julio Urias replacement, but but Kershaw will most likely come back for another year. He'll be pretty effective. And Tony Gonsolin was injured most of last year as well. That's another all-star caliber pitcher that the Dodgers will get back. And it's not as if, I know they lost to Julio Urias, but it's not as if he was pitching well this season. the Dodgers need? That's the million dollar question. Because even without, even missing an entire rotation's worth of pitchers this year, they still won a ton of games. Right? Everyone expected this to be the down year for the Dodgers. They ended up winning the division anyway. So I don't think the regular season is the problem. They've got a, a deep organization, a lot of you know, a lot of good players that play well in the regular season, but how do you, you know, but we know the Dodgers are good in the regular season. It's been proven time and time again. Now the question is, what can the Dodgers do to get over the hump? What's the next step? Who are the, you know, who are the playoff caliber players that they need to get out of the first round, to get to the World Series? There's one out of 20, Richard Dent, So that's the, for the Bears. That's going to be for Chris. So that's what they that's, that's what they need. So I don't know. The playoffs are such a crapshoot. You know, but how do you how do you get players that are playoff ready? I don't know. How do you find those dogs, those killers, those assassins in the playoffs? There's Bryce Young, Carolina. I mean, you see what, speaking of Bryce's, you see what Bryce Harper is doing in the playoffs. You know, but not everyone's built like that. But someone's either got to step up or someone has to, the Dodgers have to try to find that, add that. I think around LA, I think people are seem to be growing tired of, you know, the reclamation projects, at least from the offensive side of things. There's Jamar Chase to 75. So I'm not sure if people want to, you know, we don't need another Jason Hayward or JD Martinez. While they had fine seasons, not sure if we need them taking roster spots, especially when there's so many youngsters coming up the ranks. Maybe there's some young, hungry, you know, sort of you know, a little bit of a punk type player, someone with that kind of, a little bit of swagger. Maybe there's someone there in the minor league system that Dodgers can find. There's Darrell Rivas to 50, because I think that's what the Dodgers need. It's like, uh, it's, it's like Kirk Gibson on the 88 Dodgers, you know. 
CJ Stroud. There needs to be there needs to be some players on the Dodgers, maybe with like football player mentality, you know that kind of thing. We got Darnell Wright, twenty out of seventy-five. So yeah, I'm not sure what the Dodgers. I'm sure the Dodgers are going to chase after Otani, like everyone expects them to. I don't know. I mean, they spent last season not really doing anything. Allegedly, I mean, no one in the Dodgers organization has said this, but allegedly to chase after Otani. So let's see if they really do chase after him. And here's our autograph. I think one auto a box, right? Yeah, one auto a box. And this one's Otis Anderson of the New York Football Giants. That's going to be for Eric and the Giants. Eric with a K. So the Dodgers got a lot of criticism for not doing anything last year, from the fans anyway. And the pundits, I guess. But will that change this year? I don't know. But something has to change, right? I mean, is it... I mean, if this happens one more year, I feel like... I feel like Dave Roberts has earned the right... You know, to... Uh, no, you know, it wasn't his fault that Mookie Betts went oh for the series. And Freddie Freeman went one for the series. That doesn't help. But, uh... There you go, Eric. Um... You know, but at the same time, you got to think maybe there needs to be a different voice. You know, maybe some different coaching voices. You might have to shake something up. It's kind of hard to blame managers, though, when your top two hitters go one for the series. You know? Yeah, thanks, Eric, for getting in. Appreciate it. First of many, I hope. Next box. I don't want to knock over all these cards. Let's turn the kid reporter card on the bottom around. All right. Good luck, Aaron Rodgers. Look, throwing the ball. Seems to be ahead of schedule. It'd be pretty insane if he came back to actually to actually play. I don't think. He there's DeAndre Swift to 75. That's uh, DeAndre Swift for the Eagles. That's going to be for Mark. Eagles picking up uh, Julio Jones. Which, if you're Julio Jones as a wide receiver three or even four on that team, that's not bad. Right, Jason? Yeah. Julio Jones as a wide receiver three? I mean, how many snaps he's going to play a game? 20 snaps? Yeah. A few targets? Mostly red zone? Yeah. Perfect. Even if he's a decoy. Which I'm sure Julio will be fine with if he just, if he gets a chip out of it. That's what he wants. Exactly. He's a golem ring chaser. <laughs> he has to chase the precious. We got Cedric Tillman, 9 out of 20 for the Cleveland Browns. That'll be for Omar. And we got Jerry Judy, 45 out of 75, Denver. Oh, 
Oh, nice. And a Bryce Young rookie card in the Mosaic uh, in the Mosaic Parallel. Nice. That's the kind of stuff we want to see. Matt Arnold, Carolina Panthers. Well, we can see some numbered stuff like that. That would be pretty nice. And here's the NFL debut, Bryce Young. Got Adam Thielen, Thielen it. 13 out of 50. And we've got these carbon copies that will uh, that will randomize. Left or right randomizers on that. Adam Thielen purple, another one from Matt Arnold. And our autograph is Javon Curse. Man, remember him? Titans, Omar, with the Titans. Curse. Man. Watch some uh, youngins, or even some oldins. Just go, go watch, go watch some uh, some YouTube videos. Javon Curse. Here's a base CJ Stroud and an introduction Bryce Young insert. Ladies and gentlemen, if they ever build a theme park that features dinosaurs, do not go. Do not go. You're going to be tempted to go. Your friends are going to go. And They're all. Half of our friends are going to be like, it was fine. It was I'm fine. Surprised. It was great. Yeah. yeah, it was okay. It was super fun. You should totally go. And I'm gonna tell them no. <laughs> no way. No thanks. The reason why they are extinct. <laughs> you know, yeah. Why are we doing this? Don't bring them back. I don't care if the best, you know, genetic engineers we're on there, we're on the job. No, you can't play God with these extinct creatures. It would be, you know, an environmental and ecological disaster to bring dinosaurs back to life. So don't do it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go, for your safety. I guess Jurassic World isn't so bad, right? Not, not a bad one, I guess some of the other sequels were not good, but the Jurassic World trio's okay. What's, what's the next movie? Imprisoned within the Great Wall of China, a mercenary warrior, Matt Damon, joins forces with an elite army to battle an onslaught of... No, I don't think I'm gonna watch that. What about Mechanic Resurrection? Master Assassin Arthur Bishop, Jason Statham, must kill an imprisoned African warlord, human trafficker. No, no thanks. Shooter? Oh, that's that Mark Wahlberg movie? No, no thanks. NCIS, followed by Columbo? No. Life-changing foot comfort infomercial, no. Space Jam A New Legacy. I haven't seen that, is that any good? Guess LeBron's in it? No, it's not a good idea, Rex. It's not a good idea. Bringing the woolly mammoth back into this day and age? Who do we think we are? mistake. Tony Pollard, 20, uh, 21, not 51 out of 75. For Dallas, that'll be for Joe Christian.
Think about how many people could be fed with them. Again, a mistake. There's already enough livestock in the world. Don't think about the carbon emissions there. It'll be offset by the amount of people we can feed. There are other ways to feed people. The NFL debut, Anthony Richardson, Clint Portis will go to Eric. The Anthony Richardson will go to Chad Wright. The truth is there is no quick but there is a more effective way to lose weight, and it isn't what you think. It's actually What about a Meg? A Meg would also be an ecological disaster. That would, that would, that would eat everything in the ocean. And then where would we be? And here's a cave on Thibodeau for Eric with a K. Second auto. Potential game wrecker here in cave on Thibodeau, defensive end. Got Dexter Lawrence blue to 75, also for the Giants. Why, why is there a, I wanted to watch Space Jam, but I guess they're not going to let me watch Space Jam. Let's watch uh, Welcome to Wrexham on FX with uh, Rob McElhenney and Ryan Reynolds. Yes, that's exactly what they're trying to do, Rex. I don't know. I think you've mentioned that before. Your research has not gone past that, huh, I guess. There's a uh, B. John Robinson. Nope, that's a Brian Robinson. And a gold, Dalton Kincaid. Eight out of ten. Nice. Buffalo! Justin Weber with the Bills. And Kid Reporter cards. All right, two boxes to go. Did I know the unicorn wasn't supposed to be a horse? It was a reference to the rhino. Hmm. I can see that. It probably makes sense. There you go. Matt says, at least I won one of my spots live betting the abs. Especially if they were down early. Probably a good, good play. Good, probably a good play to live bet them. We'll probably be at plus money at that point. Got still got two boxes to go, Matt. Fingers crossed. I'd even take like a out of ten, like a gold Bryce Young would be pretty nice. An autograph would be even better. I had a play on the Phillies, plus the over on tonight's baseball game. And the Phillies themselves, with no help from the Diamondbacks, hit that over for me. So I, so thank you, Phillies offense. Thank you, Diamondbacks pitching. Appreciate that. There's Trayvon Diggs, 7 out of 10. And a Bryce Young silver. NFL debut silver. 
questions for Matt Arnold. And the Trayvon Diggs for the boys, Joe Christian, JC. Yeah, the playoffs have been kind of wild. The Rangers winning two in Houston. Kyle Schwarber, three home runs in two games. You know, Bryce Harper going nuts. There's Tyreek Stevenson to 50. You're rooting for the Phillies, Rex says, but you feel bad for Pizzle. Yeah. But, I mean, that Diamondbacks team's a pretty young team. Like, you can't really, you know, expect them to win a World Series, but they're on the right track, though. You know, Pizzle was in the chat yesterday, late last night. Gonna hydrate a little bit, and um, and he was complaining about the umpire. But I don't know. According to Ump Scorecards on uh, on Twitter, which I dropped the link into the chat, it didn't really impact the umpire. Really didn't impact the team that much, the outcome that much, as much as Diamondbacks fans would like to think so. And there's another New York Giant. There's Usi Yubinoria. That's for Eric and the Giants. Three of the uh, four boxes have been Giants autographs. NFL debut, 1975. Dorian Thompson Robinson, former UCLA guy. Looks good in the preseason, but not in his one start. That's why I don't think he was getting an, another start from the uh, from the Browns. That's for Omar. There's CJ Stroud for Houston. That's going to be for Ryan. NFL debut. It's like Christian McCaffrey has avoided serious injury, according to reports earlier today. I think that's what I read. And there's old Archie Manning, 17 out of 50. There's a rookie, Bijan Robinson, for the Falcons. That's for Omar, just a base. And the Archie Manning will go to Victor and the Saints. All right, final box. JJ, what's up? How come the Giants don't have an actual Giant as a mascot? Do they even have a mascot? I don't think all teams have a mascot. Is their mascot a seal? There was an old Pacific Coast League baseball team. Used to have some sort of seal reference. Maybe they don't. The Padres have a mascot? Yeah, Padres have the Friar. He's out there. That's a pretty good mascot. The Angels have a mascot? I don't think so. Dodgers don't have a mascot. You know. Teams don't need uh, gimmicks like that. Good teams don't need gimmicks like that. Do the A's have a mascot? Do they use that elephant as a mascot? Or is that not? I think that elephant is the mascot, right? I'm 
I'm just going up the coast. What, do the Mariners have a mascot? I don't think the Mariners have a mascot. Do the Diamond... I, Diamondbacks have a mascot, right? It's not a snake, though. I think the Diamondbacks mascot is actually a coyote, perhaps? Some sort of desert fox? The Rockies have a dinosaur. That's a pretty cute mascot. Dinger, I think, is the name of that mascot. That's a good one. Do the Rangers? I don't think the Rangers have a mascot. I don't think the Astros have a mascot. No, Astros do have a mascot. Astros have uh, that alien. Orbit, I think. Well, I might just be making that up. But I think the Astros do have a mascot. Um, yeah, I, love, I, don't, I don't know why they have a dinosaur as a, as a, a triceratops as a mascot in Colorado, but yeah, that, that's who they have out there. There's Jonathan Ogden to 50. I think, I guess any of the animal teams are, lend yourselves pretty easily to a mascot, right? The Tigers probably have a tiger, the Cubs probably have a, a, a bear, a teddy bear that, that roams around there. I guess the Reds have Mr. Red. Mets have Mr. Met. I don't think the Yan Yankees don't have a mascot, right? No. Red Sox don't have a mascot. Do the Rays have a mascot? I don't think they do. It should be a Ray, but is there a, you know, a mascot, a colorful cartoon mascot Ray that's out there? Don't think so. Orioles have that bird, an Oriole. Yeah, but all the animal teams, I think almost always have to have that. Are those the only animal teams? There's a Devontae Adams to 20. It's for uh, Michael and the Raiders. The Phillies have the Philly Fanatic. I think of any other uh, any other teams. Do the Twins have a? Do the Twins have a mascot? Don't think so. White Sox have a mascot. And the fifth and final autograph is Luke Schoonmaker, the maker of schoons. Boats, I think. Schooner. Maybe he's, maybe he has a ship making past. Don't know. But this blue auto, a little color match there, is going to go to Joe Christian and the Dallas Cowboys. What's a fanatic? You don't know. You don't know the Philly fanatic, JJ. One of the most famous mascots in all of sports. Look him up. You know when you see it. We got this hooker right here, Hendon Hooker, 29 out of 75. It's 29 out of 75 for the Lions, that's for Ryan Lind. And anything else? No, I think that's it. That is that, my friends. Appreciate everybody getting in. Let's do some left-right randomizers. On that, let's flip back over here. Let's go to random.org, new dice, new list. Left, right on those left, right randomizers. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a six, 10 times. Side on top after 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and once more, 10th and final time after 10. Goes to the left side. So all of the left side teams 
we'll get those cards right there. And a quick little recap in this five box break. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, everybody. More football in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.